Legislation banning any talk of gender identity in the classroom moved forward today in the state capitol after more than 100 people voiced their displeasure with the idea. As Mike Vassalinda tells us, lawmakers will make some changes to the bill to make it more clear. It was standing room only as more than 100 people showed up to speak against the legislation. We're talking about K through 3. Sponsor Dennis Baxley argued that schools are lax involving parents in discussions about sex and gender. These children belong to families. They are not wards of the state. Senator Tina Polsky asked if the bill would prohibit a child from talking about their family in class. Why does Johnny have two mommies? What is the teacher supposed to say? I think you should talk. Some discussions are for with your parents. Dan Van Trice worries it will very much impact what his kids can say in class. Bring pictures of their family to school and they put them up on a bulletin board and they talk about their family. Well, my kids won't be able to participate in that. Jackson County teacher Anita Hatcher spoke about her transgender son and his father. But when you reassert parental authority, sometimes you get the parental authority of my child's father who told him it would be better if he took his own life. And while this bill only applies to kids up to the third grade, parents tell us it needs to apply to all classrooms. January Littlejohn was one of a handful who testified in favor. She's filed a suit in federal court after Leon Schools went behind her back counseling her 13-year-old about sexual preferences. They told me they could not tell me anything about the meeting, that my daughter was protected from me. As written, the bill would allow parents to sue school boards that violate the law. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. The ability for parents to sue is expected to be stripped from the bill at its next stop and be replaced by a fine or other sanctions.